Day four started with packing up the tent. That was nice and cold. It's a little warmer this morning though. Looks like it's, uh, I lied, it's still 19 degrees. This morning's got me headed back to the Capitol Gorge area. I'm gonna try to get that shot again. We got nice blue skies right now. Doesn't look like any high clouds anywhere. We'll see when the sun gets fully up, but it looks promising like maybe my conditions are a little better than they were yesterday. So I might try to reshoot that and then I'll probably hang out for at least good part of the day before I leave might as well make the most of it um, and then drive this evening back to Salt Lake so let's uh let's go get set up and see how long we got to sit on this shot again today behind me here is the geological feature they have labeled as the tapestry walls it looks like this light source wall right here is starting to light up. Some I've had my eye on for the last couple days too. Um, trying to pick out a composition out of that and there might be an opportunity for that. Oh, I gotta be careful because that's been photographed before. That's, uh, I recognize that one from a Ben Horn photo. So I'm gonna try not to copycat, but if I do, sorry Ben. <laughs> so far, uh, yeah, still blue skies. It looks good. So I'm gonna head down in this wash and uh, see if I can get my tripod set up and reshoot that shot if it's any better than it was yesterday that is and then we'll start scoping around for other compositions after that one of the great things about canyon light is it's kind of like clockwork I mean that's why the sundial was invented right but I mean it'll change from season to season but from day to day be right on time so by my estimates I got about 45 minutes before light gets good, so I'm gonna enjoy some coffee and eat some breakfast. Well, I think this is at what I would consider probably the best light I'm gonna get, uh, especially for this time of the year. The wall behind me is completely lit up. Still have perfectly blue skies, so I'm stoked for that. So I went in and shot it. Same settings, same composition, same everything, so it'll be interesting to see if it's any better than the ones I got yesterday. Um, usually it looks it's pretty subtle in camera. Once you get it home, it's pretty glaring what the difference is. So that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, I think I got this one. I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, get out of here. The last couple of days I've been driving up and down this Capitol Gorge area and I'm seeing a couple of these side washes and kind of wonder what was up in there. And one of them I was driving by just a minute ago happened to uh, have this big wall lit up in direct sunlight and it was reflecting into this little cove area behind it. I could see the reflected light. So just out of curiosity, um, I stopped and walked up this wash and I think I found something. So. So I'm gonna head up there with my camera, set up and see if I can shoot it. I was really hoping that uh, this little cove area would yield something, but Right now, I'm kind of having difficulty trying to find a route up these rocks. I was hoping to shoot something up against this wall here, but it looks a little more treacherous to get to than I'm willing to take on today. So, it's a cool little, little pond back here that's frozen over. It's kind of cool looking. But you can see just on all the rocks and stuff, all the glow that's happening as a result of that light reflecting off of that wall back there. And uh, that's what caught my eye from the road. So that's, that looks a little difficult to work. In the meantime, um, walking back out to go get my camera, I did find this pretty fantastic little scene of a couple trees. And uh, they don't look like much right now on this camera, but 
they're in reflected light right now and I think they look pretty cool. So I'm gonna set up a tripod. So it's pretty straightforward composition. Um, three trees in the, or in the main subject kind of nestled up in some boulders up against a uh, sandstone backdrop that's being lit by reflected light. Pretty much a recipe for magic. So um, struggling with the foreground though. I've got a couple bushes in the foreground. One of them I can't quite frame completely in the composition. Otherwise it looks just awkward and too wide. Uh, but I can't dial in tight enough to get it out of there either. So I'm dealing with this bush. That's giving me trouble. Um, the other two that are near the, tr the trunks of the trees, um, I'm actually trying to include. And then I got some really nice soft grasses up front that look really, really pretty. Um, pretty standard. Um, I'll show you what I got going on on camera. Base ISO again, as per usual. F11, one over six for shutter speed. I pretty much framed uh, the three trees just center in my composition. Um, this bush right over here is my problem child. I may end up trying to crop him out a little bit. And then these two in the foreground, I think really add to it. Um, I did focus stack, although I don't think I really need to for the main composition. Um, the only thing I focus stacked for was immediate foreground. There's some soft grasses there that I wanted to make sure I got sharp. You may notice that my camera isn't completely level to earth. Um, and that's on purpose. There's a, there's a line up in the rock surface there that I'm trying to keep, you know, I'm fighting between um, actually level and visibly level. So um, in this case, especially with the bush that I'm fighting around, it's on the right corner of my photo. Um, it kind of helped me to angle the camera a little bit so that um, it tips up and lines up with that, that stripe that's up on the top of the rock. Um, and it makes it look level, even though it isn't actually level to earth, so. Yeah, um, there isn't much more to it. I think this is the best light it's gonna get. Uh, the entire rock face behind me is lit up and it looks great. So I've already shot this a couple times. I'm gonna uh, take another set just to make sure that everything's in focus, just to give me kind of options. And then, um, yeah, then I'm gonna pack it up. This one's a tribute shot to Ben Horn, no doubt about it. It's it's his shot. I'm pretty much ripping him off. Um, in fact, if you want to see it done better, check out his page. He's a large format 8x10 film photographer that did this way more justice than I'm going to. But uh, it's basically just a single tree in the lower right corner up against the big, huge sandstone cliff. And the tree kind of anchors it and gives it a sense of scale. It's, it's a cool shot. but. It was just kind of one of those things, if I had time, then cool. If not, no big deal. But I figured before I leave the park, I might as well shoot it since I got a minute. Hopefully I can do it some justice. It's been a pretty good morning, I think. I didn't really have a solid plan other than just reshooting the one, and um, so I think it worked out. I was able to scout a couple things and find some more stuff, so. I am headed out of the Capitol Gorge area now, um, heading up back towards the campground and visitor center area. There's a couple little things, short things I wanted to check out, some petroglyphs, maybe some short hikes, um, but my time's running out. I got about a four hour drive to get back home, and I'm probably gonna start that soon, but I definitely have one more stop that I always like to make, and that is the gift shop. I always like to stop at the gift shop, spend a couple bucks, and uh, pick up, you know, whatever neat things. Some people got like a souvenir thing they like to do. Mine's coffee mugs. I like to I like to get a coffee mug from all the cool places I go. So I gotta go buy a coffee mug, and then then I can leave. <laughs>
shame if I didn't do the Hickman Bridge high gloves here. And uh, glad I did. It's massive and it's beautiful. I didn't have any aspirations to trying to photograph it though. It seems like these grand vistas just don't work as well for me as the more intimate stuff, but it's well worth the hike. Been a good trip i think the last four days have been here at capitol reef national park i feel like it's been productive i'm stoked to get home and see what i got on my memory cards that being said i got about a four hour drive to get home it's mid-afternoon now so i think i'm gonna start that even though this isn't that big of a national park i do think uh, you need a lot more time than what i have to fully explore it there's several hikes i didn't really get to explore and that leaves me something for next time so that's always good but yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap. Head back to the truck and get on back to Salt Lake. So, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hook me up with a like. I'd sure appreciate that. And leave me some comments too. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. I'll read all of them. So, until next time. What do you guys think of my shades? If you think they're tight, give me a thumbs up. If not, then didn't your mama tell you not to say anything if you can't say anything nice?